Everybody, this is your man, the KID, and this, this is big. I want everyone, everyone to download the PIC TV, P I C, PIC TV network on your Roku search bar. Okay, my brother David Evans is growing PIC TV fans, and I want us to help my brother reach millions of followers. Click and play www.thepictvnetwork.com. That's www.thepictvnetwork.com. Come on now. Expand your mind. Expand your life. Huh? Pick TV Network. KID. Come on. Let your mind have a house party. Let go. <laughs> mm, think about it think about it you better think about it check the picktvnetwork.com enjoy yourself I'll see you at the top hey everybody this is David Evans president of Pick TV Network I'm so happy again for all of you who are watching our shows and programs today it's a special spotlight media presentation today and i want to thank everybody for tuning in to you know what the pick tv network our spotlight interview i'm so happy today i have some folk in here that um excited about coming on today with me on the network for the first time uh, i'm so happy again for robert coming on with me and andrew we met in california universal studios and had a wonderful time and today, again, I wanted to say thank you for watching. Those who are watching on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, Twitter, and on Pick TV Network and all social media platforms. Tell somebody Pick TV Network is on right now. How you doing today, Robert? Hey, doing great. This is uh, a wonderful thrill being on your show, Dave, because we've already been talking for the past couple of weeks about this, and I'm very happy to be here. I'm certainly happy to be here alongside Andrew. Yeah, man, Andrew, I mean, I, Andrew's my man, you know, we, we, we met, we popped off real good in, uh, wow, California a year ago. And he promised me that he was coming on and pick TV. Man, and can, you, <laughs> can you believe it's been a year? Come on, P-I-C, baby. No, it's, this is, this it's, is, it's, this is it's thank you. Real, man. So let's just get into the interview today. Folks, today we're going to come up and we're going to talk to Robert. We're going to play an intro of who he is. He's going to come back and talk some more. And then we're going to come back with Andrew. So let's, let's, let's let the world hear about Robert right now. Robert Sear is an independent screenwriter for six years now with more than a dozen shorts and feature length screenplays written. He is currently an audio contributor for the CCI radio show. He was recently featured on the cover of Pandemic Press Media Magazine, winter 2024 edition, and recently appeared in the 2024 film Snatched by Scarter Productions. He's can be found every Friday on Clubhouse True Visionaries. His breakthrough came with the short romance film Way to a Woman's Heart, directed by Nadira Pankey. Robert has appeared as a special guest on the PIC TV network media spotlight with a worldwide audience. Wow, Robert, man. You, you're the man, man. You're the man with the plan when I hear that. Who knew? Who knew that something like this could happen to somebody at my age? But here and here I am. Wow, man. I'm, I'm so happy. You know, when you see your brother up there 
doing his thing. And, uh, you know, how do you feel, Andrew? Talk to the world. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And and, and he said it's his birthday next week. I, I believe I heard that correct, right? How how did a man as young as you come across so, so much success? That's all I got to say. No, but seriously, like, uh, Robert, um, I love I love seeing you in your element and every time that you're able to tell your story and every time that you're able to put pen to paper, it's just I see that glow come out and uh, uh, glad that you can get some recognition right here. Well, you know, for me, as you know, Andrew, a lot of this all started through Lester. Uh, I mean, I wasn't acting. Uh, I, I had never done anything like that. I had been retired from the private sector for about a year. And Lester, who happened to live in the same building with my wife and I, uh, we both ran into each other just prior to him moving to Atlanta. So you think about that, it, it was only within a matter of a week or two, and we may, ne may never have run into each other. So that's a fate of God and that we met. And he brought me into this industry by casting me in a few of his independent films. And then all of a sudden writing came into pass and, and now here I am. Uh, it's really been an incredible ride. And I have to, I have to say it's all God given. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of speak on that too. Like, how did the writing come about? How did it come from, you know, from where you were into, you know, your exploration into film on screen into the writing? How'd you figure that out? Where, where to be honest, I, I don't know. Uh, Lester and I were on a phone call. Now keep in mind, we I had already done a couple of acting roles with him through his films. And we were, we were talking on the phone. He was talking something about a taxi cab driver idea. And I chimed in and I kept adding on, he added on, I added on. And before you knew it, he was saying to me, it almost sounds like you should be a writer based on all the ideas that I was putting together. Wow. And I didn't never saw myself that way. I knew that I could create, I, I knew that was there, but I never put into an idea that I could actually write a script. So based on that conversation, I started doing some research, took a writer's class, and then I realized, wait a minute, I can do this because I already have the ideas. I just have to know how to write a script. So I purchased, a screenwriting program called Final Draft. Mm. That gave me the tools that I needed. And nice. all of a sudden I was putting out one after another, after another, after another. And I was like, oh my God, where have I been? This has <laughs> always been there. And, and- It was like a rebirth, the rebirth of Robert. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny because Robert, um, I know you as Robert, as I know you, uh, you know, you're still in my phone as Bobby the writer. Um, I think that's how you were originally introduced to me or something. But uh, yeah, so so that that's pretty cool, man. I, you know, what, I, I have enjoyed the idea of it, but the belief ability wasn't really there. And I'm gonna go into this because about, I guess it was shortly after I'd already met Lester, I'd already written a couple of screenplays that I thought were good, but the belief in my heart wasn't there yet. But I purchased about 500 business cards that said screenwriter. Beautiful because I wanted to believe in that. And I was passing them out as I was in Manhattan one day. And the feedback that I got wasn't the kind of feedback that I expected. So when I got home that evening, I was so deflated, I was ready to give up. And I, in fact, I did, I gave up. 
Wow. But I called my friend Lester and I said, Lester, I know what you were trying to do. I appreciate everything you were trying to do. You, you're, you're, you're a gentleman. You're, you're a, really, I mean, he, and, and he was. I texted him and I said, I, I think I better throw in the towel. I don't think this is for me. Uh, and and he was, this was 11.45 at night. And he got back to me and he said, I don't, I don't believe you. Uh, you're not finished. And stand by, I, I, I want to do something. And what he did was he called Nas Panky and they did an intervention with me that evening. And this is midnight. Nice. She could have said, I don't, I, and I didn't know Nas that well yet. I only spoke to her maybe once. She could have said to me, if Robert wants to quit, that's up to him. I don't have time for this right now. It's midnight, Lester. Uh, I got to go to sleep because I got to go, I got to go to work <laughs> the next day. So, but she didn't. Right. She got on the phone and the both of them, talked me out of quitting something before it got started. And then one month later, she says to me, out of empathy, I have a new series that's going to come out called Finding Mr. Right Now. Do you think you can write something for it? And I was like, wow, yeah, of course. It's going to be a short. I says, OK. That's great. And I wrote it. But when I wrote it, I said to Nas, do me a favor. Something is telling me I want you to act in this. I know this isn't something that you normally do because normally you're behind the camera. You do the producing, you do the directing, you do the writing. But I want you to act in this, please. And she said, OK. So I wrote it. And she became the actor, the principal actor of that film. And the rest, Andrew, you can explain because, <laughs> wow. Man, I tell you, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, I, I'm, I'm trying to get out of saying it's funny because there's nothing funny about it, but it is kind of, um, comical how when you least expect something to happen that's just going to dramatically change everything in your life um it just kind of happens and and when you don't force it i think things are are just beautiful but uh i can remember um when we first jumped on uh it was the first one i was on anyway uh table read um on zoom with a bunch of people yourself included uh for uh, finding mr right now and i was in a hotel and was trying to get my setup set up and uh all of this and i know that you had um uh introduced that um that script to be read is one of them that was read that day and i, I remember initially i think you wanted uh you wanted lester and Nas to to read it and um lester had suggested well why don't andrew why don't he read? And thank God that Lester made that suggestion. But anyway, uh, yeah. so we we started we started to uh, to go through it the first time, and I think I ended up jumping off like something happened with my setup. I got kicked off and had to come back on. And um, yeah, we uh, we started reading together, and uh, I got uh, I, I I immediately felt connected to the role, and um, apparently so did. So did she. She said she had to cover her view because she started. She didn't know who was reading on the other end because there's so many people on the screen. But uh, she had to cover her view because she was blushing. I'm like, wow. You know, to hear that later, obviously, uh, uh, was, was something special. But uh, see, I think they're coming to shut us down. You hear that? I'm joking. Um, <laughs> getting too hot in here no uh so so yeah man it was a it was a it was a beautiful time it's just an honor to be a part of right like um i know uh i i didn't know part of how all of that started to to come about but i know that Nas had on a previous call like shared uh 
a little situation that had happened in her life as well. And I know that prompted yeah. like the the uh, the situation in the uh, in the short to come about, which was absolutely incredible. I know she wishes she could be here today. She says hello to everyone. Yeah, you know the world is is so beautiful, man. You know to have you on both of you guys, man. We met again in Universal Studios, um, and um, we're gonna take a commercial break, and we're gonna come back. And I, I want the whole world to see something special uh, 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 that uh, Andrew said to me at Universal Studios that he's coming on Pick TV Network, Kim and Nas, and this was. Way before this interview was set up, this was a year before. We're gonna play play that, and, and we're gonna go right into some of his his acting folks. And uh, those who are watching right now, you're watching a special presentation on the Pick TV Network on Roku Television and all social media platforms. My name is David Evans from Washington D.C., bringing you the best of the best. Uh, and these folks today are on. They're they they they're real good people, folks. We'll be right back after this. Everyone, this is big. I want everyone to download the Pick TV network on your Roku search bar. My brother David Evans is growing Pick TV fans, and I want us to help my brother blow up Pick TV. Boom! Quick. Oh, Timmy, man, I'm popping with good vibes because the PIC TV network is on Roku with free channels. I want everybody to help my bro David Evans and PIC get it. Love. Y'all, oh, it's your boy Ro Timmy, man. I'm popping with good vibes. Andrew R. McAllister is a multi-award winning American film and television actor based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Andrew found his voice before anyone knew he had one through the art of voiceover. He has since voiced everything from commercial ads and PSAs to audiobooks. Through the grace of God and life's path, he found his way into film. Andrew starred in and co-produced the Telly Award winning film Gerald's Hands along with writer-director Nadira Nas Panky. He also stars in films such as The Match, The Enemy Within, Snatched and Others, as well as TV shows like Street Legal South. Look out for so much more to come from this amazing talent. Hello everybody, this is Pick TV Network, David Evans. Who do we have here today? Oh, I am Nas Panky, and I am a screenwriter, director, and producer based out of Atlanta, but I'm from the South Bronx, New York. <laughs> and I'm Andrew R. McAllister. I'm an actor uh, based out of Atlanta. Well, and where are we today? Tell the world. Oh, we are at the True Visionaries Media Gala, and we just had a phenomenal time. Hollywood, California. Hollywood, California, honoring amazing, amazing people of God who are doing right. amazing things. And, to make the world a better place. Right. It's all about being uh, a, a, a visionary, That's which right. means a person of vision, uh, a person that does not uh, uh, stop dreaming, but actually lives them through. Yes, yes, so absolutely. So when y'all heard about Pick TV Network and our 100 show fans, what does that mean to you? Oh, that means so much because you actually went out and you did it. You took what was in your heart, what was in your mind and your soul, and now you're giving it to the people. So congratulations on your 100 episodes, 100 Ooh. short movies. That is brilliant. Yes. That is magnificent. It is genius, and it is definitely God. It was Huge congratulations one thing to, to you. To want to do something was actually just left a conversation about this. One thing to want to do something, and it's another thing to, to actually start to yes. make the preparation, and it's a whole other animal to execute that. That's and a right. hundred times, come on now, it's yes. a habit. It's a habit. You're a habitual <laughs> short film filmmaker. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Congratulations. That is right. Yes. Are y'all promise me y'all coming on Big TV Network? Yes, we're going to do this. I promise we will. Absolutely. Right. You have our word. Absolutely. Thank right. you so much. And that promise is fulfilled. It's here. <laughs> it's God. 
a, a moment in history. And that was a year ago. You got to be careful what you asked for, man. Yes. I, I, I Actually, I what? Like 14 months. Man, goodness. How time, how quickly time is passing. Let me tell you, man, I'm in the habit. Glad to be here with you. This is amazing. Man, and it's amazing. And Robert was the centerpiece to hook this all up. And when you said Andrew is coming on, I was like, Andrew, I, I, I know that name. But when I huh? seen his face, I said, that's my dog, man. I said, that's my dog, man. We start laughing and talking. You know, it, uh, we got to give some love out to Nas, man. I'm, I'm going to let you talk about her. But there's a, um, how, how proud are you, Robert, when you see Andrew coming doing his thing? Talk, talk to him. Well, listen, I'm proud of the both of them because I didn't know any of them. And I have to give Lester Green the kudos on this because I didn't know either Andrew or Nas before I met Lester. And we, you know, we have a little name for him in the on our little circle. We call him Lester the Connector because <laughs> he has connected so many people uh, together, uh, like Andrew, like Nas Panky. Uh, there are others. Uh, who he has done this with. It's like, he's one of those guys that when he wakes up in the morning, he's like, who am I going to meet today? Because that's his character. That's who he is. And without him, I wouldn't have known any of these. Uh, and I'm so happy about that. Because the way I look at this in life, because I don't know how this is going to turn out. I wrote one short film that got produced. If that's all I ever did in life, then I wrote one short film that got produced, that I got my name on, that brought two people together for something more important than my writing a film. And if that's all I did in life, then I did a pretty good job. But I'm certainly hoping to strive for something more. But if that's all that life is going to bring me, I have nothing to be ashamed of because I brought two people together through a script that Lester had a lot to do with because to Andrew's point, Lester backed out of that role and Andrew went in. And as a result, nature took its course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, this is amazing. Uh, Andrew, man, to be a humble man of God and a man of faith, man. We, we're going to play um, um, a part of uh, one of your short movies you was aware of, a full feature movie you in. This is a full a, a actor, you guys. You guys. So we got to see him doing his thing. Let's go into it. Shooting stars streaming across the sky You know it's just a meteorite People throwing pennies and a wishing well Wishing well's gonna run dry But I ain't gonna leave you tonight Everybody talking about changing the world You're washing my car, but why? It clearly needed it. And if you don't mind, I've, I've got work to do. <laughs> you still haven't answered my question. You mean, why am I washing your car? Yes. Well, they say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So I just thought... <laughs> What, and you think by washing my car, you're going to get into mine? I certainly hope so, because this car of yours definitely needs the care. Who are you? I'm Brian. I'm Myra. Hello, Myra. Do you make it your business to wash a woman's car? No, this is, this is honestly the first time. Uh, 
You know, it's common practice to give a girl a rose or maybe even just say hi. I realize that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I get it. Except mm -hmm. for one thing. But you're not a common girl. And you notice how? You don't remember me at all, do you? Should I? I, mean, I thought you might. I hoped you might. You know, but I get it. It has been a long time. Okay, now you have my curiosity. <laughs> well, I mean, in fact, it's it's probably been eleven, maybe twelve years. I was in college still, and uh, you used to take care of my mom. She was on home care. Back then. Wait a minute. You're Eve's son? One Ryan? The same. Yes. <gasps> I remember you. Oh my God. Hmm. And look at you now. Maybe mature yeah, just, a, you... just a little bit. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. Why didn't you just introduce yourself instead of doing all of this. I, I don't know. I, I think I did a pretty good job with the whole car wash thing. <laughs> don't you think? I mean, come on. Yeah, you did. Give a guy a break. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Myra, I mm -hmm. always had the biggest crush on you, especially back then. And I never acted on it for obvious reasons. <laughs> and now? Well, now I'm acting on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you did mention something about why I never just sent a rose or just said hi. Yes. Hold that thought. Beautiful. As are you, my <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to get out of here. Maybe we can go hang out somewhere. I'd love to. Just one thing. What's that? I have to clean up and do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I have always wanted to help you clean house and maybe do a little laundry. Yeah. What? That's not exactly a very romantic first date. <laughs> Maybe not to you, but I'm a very romantic cleaner, I will have you know. <laughs> now that I like to see. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. Hmm. You know, maybe a way to a woman's heart is through doing some chores. I guess so. <laughs> can't wait. Come on, I'll even cook for you. Really? Yes. You do realize that if you cook for me, I may never leave. I hope not, you silly man. <laughs> there is a God. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go. Get it right. Man, that was awesome, man. I'm so <laughs> pumped up, man. I'm like, that's the first time I had a real serious actor come on here and show <laughs> a film on my network out of a thousand shows in four years. Man, I'm so proud of you, man. You, man, you my dog, man. That's all I know. You are my big dog, man. <laughs> Thank you. And Robert wrote the heck out of that thing. Come on. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Hey Dave, hey Dave, I I was joking with him, not joking, but I was kind of ribbing him the other day on a text. And I said, Andrew, now you are the leading man in romantic movies because I set the stage for you. You did. You did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I've done a romance since, but uh, now I'm living one in real life. So thank you, sir. <laughs> um. <laughs> Man, it's was, uh it's oh go ahead no that was awesome man i'm still 
I'm still in shock mode, man, to have you on here and to play your play your set, man. While well, it's you know what, Dave? Dave, think about this for one moment. And I really want the audience who's here to understand this point. If Nas had not gone on that phone that night when I was depressed, ready to give it up, yep. I would not have written that script. And if I had not written that script, it's very possible that Andrew and Nas would never have gotten together. It's very possible. I don't think I have got that much involved in my life, but I do believe that in this case, maybe I did. Because he understood that Nas looked out for me God said, thank you, Nas, for looking after my son, Robert. And now I'm going to look after you. Wow. That's amazing. Um, wow. You know, I, 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 I want to go back for a second, right? Like, um, we kind of alluded to already, like, whenever she was telling a story about, you know, something that had taken place, uh, uh, like, uh, as she was... Uh, when she was single and and she was at a restaurant and this guy was sitting at at the restaurant so like she went there to pick up food and and it was gonna take a while and they were like oh, why don't you take a load off just have a seat you know we'll bring it out to you and she was like okay I think it was an Applebee's if I'm not mistaken but anyway this guy was like watching her from across the way and you know and and he was he was uh he was kind of uh, uh assertive right you know and and he was like hey you married? She's like, no. And he was like, can I come over and sit down? He, you know, they're having a whole conversation and all of this. And uh, as he's like uh, walking her to her car, like, um, I guess it, it, one reason or another, I think there was like a hurricane right before that or something. Anyway, her car was not the cleanest in the world. And so he was like, hey, when you need your car cleaned, uh, you know, call me. You got a king now. I don't know. She thought that was hilarious. And she was sharing it with us. And she was describing him and everything. Right. But uh, uh, clearly uh, uh, the, the, the man that she described is not me. And I say that for this. Right. Because uh, fast forward a little bit and we're rehearsing for this um for this scene and uh uh way to a woman's heart and uh we, day after day night after night you know i'm enjoying it i can't wait to get on on zoom with her each and every time and i'm talking to my friend lester and uh you know just kind of putting a little bug in his ear from time to time and i'm like man you know i'm kind of i'm kind of feeling the Nas, and, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, are you? Oh man, you should, you should shoot your shot, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I don't know." And uh, a little bit later, we're getting closer and closer, and he was like, "No, I think you really should." And I'm like, "Listen, Lester, I, I don't know if you were listening when she was tell, telling the story about her type, but I'm clearly not her type." And Lester apparently had been having some of the similar <laughs> conversations with Nas. At the same time, it just he uh, he was my friend, but he never he never shared that information. He was waiting for the surprise. So anyway, um, the night that we actually shot that, I said finally, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make my move. And uh, after uh, the scene was set and done, we were in a in the pizza parlor, you know, started having our conversations, and you know, our conversations led to you know phone calls here and there over the course of time. But our first official, I guess you could say night, not necessarily as a couple, but pretty close to being a couple, uh, was the night that this uh, Way to a Woman's Heart premiered. And we watched it at Lester's house. And, you know, uh, I got dressed up. She got dressed up. And, you know, I, they say the rest is history. But, um, you know what, like, uh, I definitely thank god for for uh you know bringing me to that initial zoom call and lester bowing out and all of the things that transpired because let me tell you i mean that's been some time ago what has it been four years now if i'm not mistaken four years yeah yeah I, life changing some of the best four years uh the best absolute best four years i could even imagine so i feel reborn and uh yeah, man. I wish she was here right now. 
Well, I got a, I got a funny a backstory to all of this is, uh, I guess it must have been a couple of months after, maybe two or three months after YouTube had released Way to a Woman's Heart. And I'm looking on social media and I'm seeing Andrew and Nas in pictures. Now, I didn't know about any of this yet. Mm. And I'm looking at Andrew and Nas in pictures. I'm going back to Lester. I said, Lester, are they doing promos for <laughs> Way to the Woman's Heart? I don't know. What's going on? And he told me, oh, you don't know. They're a couple. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> So I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Who wouldn't want to be the writer who writes a script that brings two people together, uh, innocently or not? Who would not want to be that writer? And I'm that writer. And that's an amazing. That's why I say, I hope I, this is not the only thing that I do. <laughs> but if this is the only thing that I ever did in my life, what an amazing honor it is to write a script that brought two people together, Dave. Man, it's, it's been one of the greatest um, Pick TV Network spotlight interviews I've had, you know. And what I want to thank again uh, is God, man, because God put all of us together, you know, uh, for us to be at, in Universal Studios and just afterwards, you know, uh, that, that, to have... Um, you know, Andrew and Nas to come up and speak to me. We just act like families. We act like kids on this, you know, outside. Then we have Robert for the second year connecting and coming on Pick TV Network. And um, this is a, a dream come true for those who are watching right now. Please look at the repeats. And we're also going to be on Instagram, showing this, Facebook, YouTube, and all the fans around the world can continue to watch Pick TV Network and support the Pick TV Network. If you want to come on our network, we would love for you to come on to be a part of our TV shows. We have a um, fitness channel, movie channel, sports channel, gospel life channel. We have a spotlight channel, book channel. We're getting ready to go into the holiday season where you can sell your products and services on our um, network. And speaking of that, I, I got something for all of you guys who are watching right now. And I, and I don't want you to laugh at this, uh, Andrew and Nas, but we got something hot that off the press. And... Uh, uh, yeah, it's hot off the press, <laughs> so, so we want we want everybody to uh, get get one of these products that we're gonna put up on the screen in a few minutes. I'm just so so excited about all of you. Check this out. Hi. Awesome, boss. <laughs> man, look at that joint. It's crazy beautiful, man. That's it right there. Oh, man, look at that thing. It's like a baby coming out right there. So we have the Pick TV Network hats now, folks. The Pick TV yeah. Network hats are officially out for sale for the holidays. And I know you want to get a hat, you can call its phone number right on the screen, 202-505-2837. That's Just, a nice hat. <laughs> you you got to get you one, man. Yes. And, 
uh, I already got my order in. He got it already in. Um, yeah. he, and, Andrew, how did you like being on Pick TV Network, man? This is your first time on our network, man. How you like the commercials? How you like the setup? How you like the show? Man, I love this show, and I, and, and the setup is is amazing. I was telling you that earlier. I was like, man, this is just uh, a. It's an it's an honor. Um, as I was mentioning to Robert to uh, be the the leading man in um, a way to a woman's heart uh, and and the leading man in the romance that is my life now. But you know what? Here we are on Pick TV. This is an extreme honor, my friend. Um, thanks for having us on. This is this is amazing. And I know Nas can't wait to get on here herself. Um, and uh, I definitely wish she was here tonight. Um, but we're going to be watching this again. And uh, man, much success and just big congrats for, for, for all that you're doing. Man, you know, I got to give a lot of love out, man, to Robert. Because Robert, we've been talking, man, and he said he's going to get you on. And he made good on his word, man. You got him on, <laughs> Robert. You got him on, man. <laughs> well, what I mentioned this to Andrew just recently is that, believe it or not, Way to a Woman's Heart was actually a four-part series. Wow. And well, not, I shouldn't say unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately for me as a writer, part one was all that was needed because it brought Andrew and Nas together. But I have four parts written to this, and I'm not going to go through the whole litany of, of, of what it was, but I actually have four parts written, and I was thinking about increasing it to make it a, 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 a series uh in this uh because uh i thought that might be a f it was a co it was going to be a romantic comedy that's kind of the way i was looking at it but unfortunately andrew thank you very much for falling in love with nas you <laughs> ruined my four parts so thank you so much <laughs> thank god she she reciprocated because i don't know what i would do without without her love uh, yes, man, you, man, this has been an amazing show today, folks. Uh, those are watching Pick TV Network, our fans around the world. Yeah, Nas, uh, you put it down, man. Uh, Nas, thank you for for just loving this man and making it all good. Nas, I know you're watching. Yes, I know you, and, and we want to give a lot of love out to everybody, True Visionary, everybody for for supporting our network and um, working with us as we grow. Pick TV Network. Now, I'm going to ask you the same thing, um, uh, Andrew, that I asked you in Universal, man. Do, will you promise to come back on Pick TV Network again? Man, you? you don't even have to ask. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And you fulfilled that promise. So now we got to get Nas on. That's we it. Gotta, we got to get Nas on. Those who are watching Pick TV Network, I want to thank you for watching uh, Pick TV. Please look at the repeats over again. If you want to come on Pick TV Network, all you have to do is uh, get in touch with us. We are we are a network that's looking for good people like you to come on our network. And our phone number right there is 202-505-2837. We would love you to come on Pick TV. Showcase your talent, your services, your products, whatever you like to do. Pick TV Network is here for you. Again, my name is David Evans. I'm going to close out with, with uh, Andrew saying something to me with Nas when we were in Universal. Thank you for watching. Hi everybody, this is Pick TV Network, David Evans. Who do we have here today? Oh, I am Nas Panky, and I am a screenwriter, director, and producer based out of Atlanta, but I'm from the South Bronx, New York. And I'm Andrew R. McAllister. I'm an actor uh, based out of Atlanta. Well, and where are we today? Tell the world. Oh, we are at the True Visionaries Media Gala, and we just had a phenomenal time. Hollywood, California. Hollywood, California, honoring amazing, amazing people of God who are doing right. amazing things and to make the world a better place. Right. It's all about being uh, a, a, a visionary, That's which right. means a person of vision, uh, a person that does not uh, uh, stop dreaming, but actually lives them through. Yes, yes, so absolutely. So when y'all heard about Pick TV Network and now 100 Show Fans, what does that mean to you? Oh, that means so much because you actually went out and you did it. You took what was in your heart, what was in your mind and your soul, and now you're giving it to the people. So congratulations on your 100 episodes, 100 Ooh. short movies. That is 
brilliant. Yes. That is magnificent. It is genius, and it is definitely God. It was Huge congratulations one thing to, to you. To want to do something was actually just left the conversation about this. One thing to want to do something, and it's an, another thing to, to actually start to yes. make the preparation, and it's a whole other animal to execute that. That's and a right. hundred times, come on now, it's yes. a habit. It's a habit. You are a habitual <laughs> short film filmmaker. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. And, and Congratulations. That is right. Yes. Let him use, you know, use, uh, y'all promise me y'all coming on Big TV Network? Yes, we're going to do this. I promise we will. Absolutely. Right. We have our word. Absolutely. Good. Thank right. you so much. Shooting stars stream across the sky You know it's just a meteorite People throwing pennies and a wishing well Wishing well's gonna run dry But I ain't gonna leave you tonight Everybody talking about changing the world You're washing my car, but why? It clearly needed it. And if you don't mind, I've, I've got work to do. So. <laughs> you still haven't answered my question. You mean, why am I washing your car? Yes. Well, they say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So I just thought. Well, and you think by washing my car, you're going to get into mine? I certainly hope so, because this car of yours definitely needs the care. Who are you? I'm Brian. I'm Myra. Hello, Myra. Do you make it your business to wash a woman's car? No, this is, this is honestly the first time. Uh, you know, it's common practice to give a girl a rose or maybe even just say hi. I realize that, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, mm -hmm. I get it, except mm -hmm. for one thing, but you're not a common girl. And you know this how? You don't remember me at all, do you? Should I? I, mean, I thought you might. I hoped you might, you know, but I get it. It has been a long time. <clears throat> okay, now you have my curiosity. Well, I mean, in fact, it's it's probably been <laughs> maybe 12 years. <laughs> This is your man, the KID. And this, this is big. I want everyone, everyone to download the PIC TV, P I C, PIC TV network on your Roku search bar. Okay? My brother David Evans is growing PIC TV fans, and I want us to help my brother reach millions of followers. Millions! Millions! Click and play www.thepick.tv 